All right, there's no bigger pain in your back than pain in your back. That's the worst pun. I'm gonna get some flock for that. But today I'm gonna show you 10 tips to alleviate this pain because this is very common among individuals. Let's just get right into it and help you get rid of that soreness. issue and misconception of back pain, number one, is to actually change your understanding of it. A lot of people when they have lower back chronic pain, they feel they need to rest and kind of just sit down and slouch out and kind of just wait for it to heal. The mindset around this has kind of shifted and recent research has pointed that actually light movement and being active can help alleviate some of this pain and can be a little good secret towards it. So this is something doctors advocate for. Once again, this is light activity and we're going to be doing this video in the spectrum of you've been working out, you have some soreness, some pain, some kind of some irritation, not if it's a very chronic issue, a spinal issue or a disc issue, those are much more serious and if you actually have a really active issue, we really, really recommend seeking out a professional physiotherapist or doctor. Saying so, let's get a number two. So first and foremost, exercise you want to do, you want to be light and kind of little baby stretches. You don't want to do anything overly tense that will actually really aggravate the back. Like most people think a toe touch or something like that is excellent to alleviate the pain. That can actually aggravate it because it's very kind of harsh on it. You're really stretching it out. So we recommend these following movements. So number two, you can see I'm doing the bottom to heel stretch. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm just basically curving my spine, pushing into my spine. So I'm kind of hunching it almost like a cat, really stretching out to that child's pose, arcing up and pushing my chest through and just really contracting it lightly and just slowly warming up that area to kind of alleviate that pain. Number three is gonna be doing some knee rolls. These are fantastic. You don't wanna do full on kind of windshield wipers. That's really harsh on the spine and that can be an amazing mobility movement. But this is a little more gentle. We're kind of just working on rotating that spine left to right, kind of warming up that area to kind of alleviate this. And this one has been huge for me. Um, I did lift over 600 pounds and my lower back gets tight. It's a constant battle for me. So doing these stretches really helps kind of make it bearable and withstandable as opposed to me wanting to just completely die from the pain. Number four, back extensions. So as you can see, I'm on my elbows here. I'm pushing into that spine, really tightening everything out and extending. It's very similar to that second movement I showed you, but it's another different one to kind of work that spine in a little different way. A common video or a common question we get asked when we make these videos is how many sets of these should I do? And my best answer is I recommend doing about 10 to 15 of each. However, if you still feel a lot of pain and you have more time, do as many as it takes, as many until you feel that area loosening up and being active. Number five, we got pelvic tilts. This is a really small micro movement, but it's absolutely incredible. So essentially, as you can see, I kind of have a little triangle with my feet here. I have my spine pushed in, I have my scapula back. I'm rolling those shoulders back, and I'm working on lifting my belly button up while contracting my scapula back to kind of get this arcing motion here. And I'm pushing into that lower back gently. You don't want to do this too aggressively, but you just slowly want to stretch it out, contract it, Expand it, contract it, expand it. As you can see, Kyle has his hands up. So long as you can hold your hands up, maybe have five pounds of counterweight pushing down on your chest so you can arc against that. Once again, do this carefully, but it's absolutely incredible for just kind of arcing it out, warming it up, and getting it moving. And number six, this is the dead hang. Your arms are gonna be straight, and this is fantastic to, to do after a workout. And essentially, what you're gonna be doing is just hanging there, letting everything just kind of loosen up and lengthen within your body, and especially your back. And one quick word of advice, guys, don't tweak your neck around or do any fast movements. Just chill out and just lengthen out. So, get it done. Next up, we're gonna be doing hot cold therapy. Basically, if anyone notices that there's swelling or it feels very warm, you're gonna take a thin towel and put some ice and place it on your back for 15 minutes. But on the other hand, if it's actually just a little bit sore or there's no swelling, you're gonna take a hot pack and just place it there for 15 minutes. So pick which one is actually applies to you and utilize that one. Number eight is to warm up effectively. So you don't wanna just run in the gym and if you're benching 200 pounds that day, load up 200 and start banging it out. That's just a recipe for disaster. You want some blood flow, some circulation. You wanna warm up those muscles, pump some blood, work on the elasticity of the muscle by doing some dynamic movements, kinda of get everything kicking, get yourself warmed up. And like I said, with that bench press example, you wanna do active warm ups in your exercise. So whatever your first exercise is, whatever muscle group I'm working, like let's say I'm gonna do dumbbell press for 100 as a random example, I'll perhaps um, start by doing some push-ups, then I'll do some 30 pound dumbbells, some 60 pound dumbbells, then I will work up to those 100 pounds, just kinda of even get my mind muscle going, get everything working within that so that I'm actually active and comfortable within the exercise so I'm not doing something irregular, weird, and blowing up my back early. 
Number nine, we got the ice bath. This is the king of recovery. Um, there's been a lot of science debating this, chirotherapy and all these things, but it seems that the consensus is they are effective, they are kind of tasking, and they're really kind of tough because you actually have to have a really cool kind of body of water. You gotta jump in that, submerge yourself, basically freeze your body out and force it to warm up, and it actually really helps with recovery. Personally, I'm a big advocate of these, but definitely do your own research, see where you kind of land on this agenda of the ice bath, and then decide if you want to implement them into your routine to minimize this back pain. And last but not least, number 10, this is probably the most important one, is make sure every exercise you're doing is done properly. If you're going in and you're doing deadlifts, but you're not lifting with your legs, you will feel back pain. So we actually put together 35 exercises to help you have a personal trainer in your pocket. So every time you go in, you're like, am I doing the deadlift properly? Am I doing the dumbbell row properly? And all you gotta do is click that first link in the description. It's completely free. and It'll show you how to do all of these exercises properly to avoid getting that pain and kind of getting ahead of the problem. So make sure to click that, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.